a bit on ICT now, has the newest entrant into Nigeria's digital space, Starlink, operated by SpaceX, a United States company owned by Elon Musk, promises a high-speed internet access delivered through low-Earth orbital satellites with license granted by the Nigerian Communications Commission, NCC. Its operational model is said to be aligned with the federal government's efforts at achieving 70% broadband penetration by 2025 as contained in the National Broadband Plan. Shung Duma in the report looks at the potential of the communication satellite in the nation's $75 billion communication market. Almost every human activity and transaction can be carried out either on mobile phones or computers, improving people's standard of living. The link-up components here are data and internet connectivity. Records show that 49% of Nigerians in rural areas who are laying off fiber optics for telecom connectivity is unachievable and missing out. Starlink, a portable communication satellite with high speed that is 10 times faster than that of an average cellular speed, as well as low latency, enabling video calls, online gaming, streaming, and other high data rate activities, promises to bridge that connectivity gap. By August this year, Starlink is expected to start enrollment in five base stations and is built to achieve 95% broadband penetration by ending of next year. The only way you can provide broadband to these places usually is through satellite is cheaper. And the model came over by Starlink is more of providing broadband to unserved and underserved areas. They are not just like retailers. We will provide services to our mobile network operators and other broadband companies. And companies will provide to, to us. We ensure that we intervene so that Stanley will provide to them in a very subsidized price. And they can provide to all of us in our subsidized price too. Emmanuel Okoy, a cybersecurity expert, tells me that these are redefining moments in the nation's telecom industry. It's what we've been looking out for. There's going to be an upgrade. There's going to be a lot of competition. What we have currently, pay so much in data and not getting the speed, most time breach in regard to the technology, in regard to signal. But we believe with what Le Mans has and the, all other countries that have benefited from his technology have not complained. So many worms are running on systems, even including small gadgets and in also bigger systems. No one is checkmating. No one is even aware that he has been hacked or not. But with this technology, cybersecurity experts will be able to deploy their solutions. We can think with uh, the 5G uh, that have been introduced. We also have fiber optics in place. So this satellite can sing with it because you can't receive the signal directly. It doesn't have any barrier. For example, election time, you see the, 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 the spawn network, it's a rural areas and all that. So it's a welcome development is going to improve digital economy. That's not all. Deployment of Starlink internet service in agriculture will help farmers access weather and community pricing using their smartphones. Likewise, in education and health, remote learning and telemedicine can be achieved seamlessly in rural areas. ICT professionals also believe that Nigeria stands to benefit from Starlink's $30 billion global investment portfolio as its presence in 32 countries is viewed as profitable. In Abuja, Chimdema Ndubisi, NTA News.